Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley J. Aaron. If you are new here, today's video is a get it all done. We are running errands. I'm sharing our Aldi grocery haul. I have some cleaning motivation and I will be sharing my highly requested favorite summer hair care products. Today's video is packed, so if you have a ton to do, grab your list and your coffee and let's get it done together. I got a little bit of a late start to the day today, so I am just now making my bed, but I am so excited to let you guys know that today's video is in collaboration with my sweet and beautiful friend, Rachel. She's a married mom of five adorable children. I love that her kids are a bit older like mine, so if you are a mom with big kids to teens, this is the mom for you. She shares her home and incredible cleaning motivation to show that if she can do it, so can you. She's there to remind you that although motherhood is crazy and chaotic, you are not alone. Motherhood is messy and we are all in this together. She keeps it so real. That is what I love about her channel and sweet family. So if you love homemaking, cleaning motivation, all things motherhood, head over to Rachel's channel. I will have it linked in my description box. Make sure to let her know that I sent you. If you are here today from Rachel's channel, welcome. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you decide to stick around. Want you back, back, want you back, back, back Some say that love don't hurt But I got you stuck in my memory Some say that hearts come first But they've never known what it's like to be now I am headed into the kitchen where I am lighting one of my favorite candles from Bath & Body Works. It's called the Limoncello. It is absolutely amazing if you've never smelled it. It's a very light scent. So for people who tend to get headaches or don't like a strong scent, this is a really amazing candle. So I got that lit and now I'm just unpacking all of the groceries and then I'm gonna show you guys everything that we purchased. Every wall is getting close And I don't know what to do Can't you save my soul? Can't you save my soul? Can't you mend my heart? Can't you mend my heart? I want you back, back, want you back, back, back Yeah The first thing that we got were these mini cucumbers I picked up some grapes A bag of limes some oranges, cilantro, green onion, some spinach, baby spinach and arugula mix. We got a bag of lemons, some celery, a bag of green apples. We have some baby portobello mushrooms, carrots, tomatoes, peppers, bananas, and more tomatoes. I got a few different types of hummus. We got red pepper, classic, and olive. We got two bags of the string cheese, taco style cheese, mozzarella, some ham, turkey. We got some feta. We have some crescent rolls. The girls usually like to eat those with their dinners. Some cinnamon rolls for breakfast, some yogurt, cinnamon toast crunch, we got some tuna and we got some cheese. We got some marshmallows. I've never tried all these marshmallows or their graham crackers. The girls are craving some s'more dip. So I picked these up. I'll let you guys know if these actually taste good. Um, I usually like to stick with like name brand 
um, graham crackers, but we'll see how those are. Then we got some hazelnut spread, some mayo. I got some olives. We got some strawberry pop tarts. Aubrey wanted some Ritz crackers. This is another item I've never tried before from Aldi's. This is the Aldi brand, so we will see how those are. We picked up some corn dogs for a quick lunch. We have some sausage links, some pizza snacks. We've got some frozen corn. We've got some wheat bread. Aubrey loves to use this to make pesto pizza. It's really good. We got some quinoa and brown rice. I got a few loaves of bread. We got a couple of packages of paper plates because the kids love to take snacks outside. We got some more dish soap, a watermelon. We got the beef ramen. We got a bag of grapefruits and we got a pineapple. Get some more olive oil. I got some tomato basil soup. I've never tried this either, so we'll see how that is. The pesto for Aubrey's pesto pizza couple boxes of mac and cheese. Then we got some crunchy taco shells so we can have tacos one night. And then I also picked up a bunch of vegetable broth. It's been raining and not really feeling like summer too much here. So we're gonna make some soup. Last few things I picked up were some more eggs. I love this almond milk creamer in the flavor caramel. We have some almond milk. I love mixing a little bit of oat milk with this almond milk creamer for my iced espressos. Then we got some lactose-free milk. We picked up a little bit of turkey bacon, a few steaks, some ground turkey, and a package of chicken. I let the dog out to go to the bathroom and I came back to see if he's ready and he's just chilling on the porch. Just trying to soak up all the sun. And yes, this door is filthy because these kids run in and out literally all day long so i clean it but it literally ends up like this immediately after be a weekend lover yeah i'ma be the best damn lover you got i wanna mess up your covers i don't wanna meet your mother never ever ask me how i've been remember why you have my number i'm the best thing that has ever happened to you here's your time to shine i'll show me what you can do So these containers, when I first started using them, I wasn't sure that they were really going to be that functional. It seemed like they took up a lot of space and honestly, I feel like if you have um, children, especially older children, they're able to just go in the refrigerator and grab something to eat. These containers are actually very useful because when you just throw all of your groceries in there, it can be overwhelming for them to go in there and actually see what there is. When everything is divided into sections based on snacks, produce, that kind of stuff. It makes it so much easier for them to just go in there and grab what they are looking for. So if you haven't tried organizing your refrigerator using containers, you can buy them so cheap. Like they sell some at the dollar store. You could go to Home Goods. You can purchase them off of Amazon. If you haven't seen my pantry and refrigerator organization video, I will have that linked down below. But I did want to mention that this actually ended up being super functional and 
I recommend you trying it for your family as well. If you have been around for a while, you already know this is my absolute favorite gadget from Amazon. It's my counter vacuum. I'm using this to just get all the crumbs up from the cereal. And then I am actually going to use my Caldrea Sea Salt Neroli counter spray. I absolutely love this stuff. As you can see when I was doing my bedroom, I was spraying it on all of my linens and oh my god you guys, if you've never tried this, you need that scent in your life. It smells so amazing and I know it's kind of crazy to think but in about a month I'm going to be doing fall decor and all that kind of stuff so I'm trying to use up all my summer products but I probably use more than I should just because I love the smell so if you've never tried um, the sea salt neroli you can actually get it from Grove I think you can also get it off of Amazon but if you've never tried out Grove before I'll leave a link in my description box so you can get a free set for yourself I am just finishing up the living room and then the hubby and kids told me that it was getting kind of late and they were hungry so they didn't really want to wait for me to cook dinner with all of the groceries we just purchased so my husband placed an order for some carry out so after this I'm gonna head out and go pick that up. This is the buffalo chicken wrap and parmesan fries. Steven and I both got the same thing. The kids got fries, Bianca got chicken tenders, and Aubrey got the whites. Is, what is this, Aubrey? The white? <gasps> Looks so good. All right, we're about to eat dinner, and then I'll come back and show you all of my favorite summer beauty products. All right, guys, I have had an overwhelming amount of requests to include more beauty related content into my channel. So because that is what I am being asked to do, I am going to provide my favorite of all time summer hair care products. I figure hair is something, even if you're not into makeup, everyone's into their hair. So hair is where we are going to start. These products are gonna keep you moisturized, frizz free and give you fabulous hair all summer long. I am a licensed cosmetologist. I've been doing hair for 15 years and I absolutely love Aveda. I've always worked at Aveda salons. I have Aveda education. So I know these products like the back of my hand. They're the only products I use on myself, my family. I love them and I'm here to teach you all about them so you can love them and use them as well. 
we are going to start right here with the Nutriplenish shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in conditioner. Most people don't know that a good hair day actually starts in the shower. The shampoo and conditioner you use set the tone for your hair until you wash it again. So I absolutely love the Nutriplenish. This line comes in a light and a deep moisture so you can customize it to your personal needs. But what I love about Nutriplenish is it's nutrient powered hydration for lush, healthier hair. That's something we all can have in the summertime. We need that moisture. The sun is just sucking it out chlorine, so on. So what you want to do is moisturize as much as possible. This product contains certified organic coconut oil, mango butter, and omega-5 rich organic pomegranate oil. This leave-in conditioner I absolutely love when you're doing hair kind of like how I did mine today. You're putting it in a braid and you're just kind of letting it air dry because you want to do heatless styles as much as possible in the summer so that you can grow your hair long and healthy. I love this leave-in conditioner because it has ginger extract in it and it filters UV rays to protect against the sun. And not only that, it also protects up to 450 degrees of heat styling. So this is amazing. Whether, like I said, you're air drying or you are flat ironing, either way you're protected with the Nutriplenish line. So after you shampoo and you condition, then you are going to want to try this dry remedy oil. I absolutely love this stuff because it is made without silicone, so it will penetrate the hair immediately with just a few drops. That is going to lock in moisture and that is also going to be like a leave-in treatment. So you start with your shampoo and conditioner, then you do your treatment. The next product I absolutely love is the Texture Tonic. The Texture Tonic is amazing because it uses sugar and salt to work in harmony to give you that perfect texture to your natural hair. It's going to give you that effortless. I put that in when I'm doing my braid along with the oil and I start with the shampoo and conditioner. It gives you that 90s hair, that effortless hair, the look that everyone is going for. That is exactly what the Texture Tonic is going to do. Now, if you don't like to air dry, Texture Tonic is also amazing. If you just need a little bit of texture in your hair, let's say your hair is really fine or it's super straight, you can add a little bit of the Texture Tonic into your hair, blow dry it, and then curl it. It's going to give it that gritty texture. It's going to hold your curl a little bit longer. So I love that for brides. I love that for people who are going out and they need their curls to last. Or like I said, air drying. It's all amazing. Amazing. And then the next product I use after the texture tonic is I use a little bit of the Smooth Infusion Nourishing Styling Cream. So I love that product because you are actually going to use that to lock in all of your moisture. It's going to fight humidity all day. But what's amazing about this product is most products that fight frizz that are not like a conditioning type product you usually have to blow dry into the hair. Smooth Infusion was a game changer because this, you can air dry or you can blow dry. Either way, it is going to give you frizz-free hair all day. I absolutely love it and it's gonna give you that moisture you're looking for. And then the last two products I love is the Air Control. This is pretty self-explanatory. You don't really need too much detail on this. Hands down, best light hold hairspray that there is. And then my favorite stronghold hairspray is the Control Force. Again, hairspray is hairspray. There's not too much detail that you need to know about this. One thing though is all of these products, being that they come from a company that really tries to focus on clean, organic ingredients, it's going to be free of parabens and sulfates and all those things. I mean, the list goes on and on. You can check the website. What I also love about this is Aveda does everything in its power to make sure it has a net zero impact. Since these are aerosol hairsprays, a net zero impact on Earth's climate. 
sorry we got cut off i just was mentioning that there are so many wonderful things about aveda as a company like i said i will link them in the description box so you can check it out for yourself and read more but those are my tips for having the best summer hair and when i was mentioning earlier that i had put my hair in a braid this is what i was talking about i wore it in a braid most of the day and then i took it out and it gave it kind of that crimped look so if that is a look you are going for without having to purchase a crimper those products will definitely help you achieve that look without frizz and tons of shine After I am done vacuuming, I am just going to start mopping the floors and that is pretty much it for this video. I hope it gave you guys a ton of cleaning motivation and some ideas if you shop at Aldi as well. Also, don't forget to check out Rachel's video. I will have that linked in the description box. It would make me so happy if you went and checked it out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And if you love today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot so I know what type of videos to make for you guys in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.